Black Ace 36 tonight. I'm going to be doing a tutorial on a three beat weave. A three beat weave is done on wheel plane, especially when you're first learning it. So the poi, you got them going in the same direction, but split time. That split time is what almost makes them look straight from one another, you know? Like I said before in the previous videos, parallel poi are straight from one another, so it almost appears as a staff, you know? What I'm saying? If you're doing it right, it should be just like a staff would do it. So, the most important part is keeping your tethers or ropes 180 degrees apart. Another important part that I think is important, other people have debated that is having a center point that is as close as possible. This is why I keep my wrists touching. So if you're doing a three beat weave like this, when, when they're not touching, you know, it, it changes more to like an isolation, you know what I mean? So. To get into the three beat weave pattern, I'd like you to start with one poi and get used to doing this. And really what it is, is, is the shoulder rotation. See how I'm turning my right shoulder 90 degrees so that I'm getting a beat behind my back. Otherwise, yep, yep, but just turning, you'll get it, right? Same with this. A slight turn and wrist motion makes all the difference. So, after you practice that a little bit, on both sides of course, if you're a beginner poi student, I'd like to back up a little bit. Most advanced people know the three beat, but for you beginners, to get a good wheel plane going, do this, and uh, so pretend there's two walls. So as I was saying, for wheel plane, practice in a narrow hallway like this, so that you got these planes forcing you to get good. So if you get off, you'll hit this wall. And then, of course, try it like this. And, uh, you know, backwards. You know, this will really get you good at, at planes. So, back out here, after you've practiced your wheel planes very well, to get into a three beat weave, we're going to split time wheel plane, right? And then one poi will chase the other. So split time wheel plane, right? And watch. I bring this hand and touch my wrist as my wrist comes over. So as my wrist is coming over, I'm bringing this into it, right? And that's where my hands connect. Ready? So I bring it over. Your right hand comes over to the left and follows it. And if you want to do it from the other way, split time, your right, your left hand can follow to the right, you know?
And so it's important that you're changing your direction. It's that short shoulder movement that I'm, I showed you in the beginning, right? And to keep a good wheel plane, you can do it down here, you can do it up here, right? Or you can turn 90 degrees and it, you know, makes a very cool looking trick that is the um, base for a really cool shit like archers and, you know. So I recommend three V weaves for any beginners. And once you get it down on wheel plane, try to go to wall plane and start doing three V weaves behind your back, right? Because that's what you want to get used to. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Post videos every day. I love you guys.